today on ranked mountain biking we're going to be taking off these default pedals that come with the bike and we're going to be putting on some new ones and we're going to see how they work so first thing you want to do uh is take these pedals off and you notice there's a little uh hex nut right here and what you do you get mine is a 15 millimeter wrench uh, yours might be slightly different size on the drive side it's going to be on here and down so then I already broke this loose so it's going to come unloose super easily and then on the other side it's going to be the same thing you put the wrench towards the back of the bike and you just press down if I can get a hold of it. Boom, broke loose. Nope, oh, maybe it didn't. Got the end. There it goes. Unscrew that bad boy. Boom, there you go. Super easy. Now we're gonna go take a look at the new pedals that I got. All right, so we got the old pedal off, and now we're gonna take a look at the new Falcon pedals that I got. As you can see, this is very high quality Chinese product because on the top, it literally just says bicycle pedal, not a brand name to be found. Also, not, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says ride with a dream. Uh, so I'm assuming that's their slogan or something, which makes it almost makes sense, so I'm very impressed with these Chinese child slave workers. Uh, they also say wide, high strength, about seven times on the side of it. So uh, we're going to open these up and take a look at them real quick. So at first glance, you can see that they are significantly wider than the default pedals that I have on my bike currently. And this is going to give you a lot more space to put your feet so hopefully that'll be a good thing and then these are Fulker F Fulker brand Fulker I don't know how to pronounce it Fucker I'm just call it kind of call it Fucker brand uh so these are like a carbon copy of the race face Chester pedals that I saw online and the race face chesters go for about 50 bucks, but these came in about tree fitty times 10 the one. So 35 bucks ish on Amazon. So they were significantly cheaper, but, uh, we're going to see how, <coughs> how well this, this Chinese child laborers can do. But yeah, so far they look pretty nice. We're going to go install them right quick. Now, in order to install these, I'm actually going to use a. I'm actually going to use a eight millimeter uh, hex wrench, and then you do the exact opposite of what you did to take off the other ones. And you're just going to get there. So pushing down towards the back, you're going to push up towards the back. We're just going to get these fingers tight for now. Ah, that one makes sense. I picked up the left one uh, instead of the right one, and this is the, this is the right side of the bike. So, uh, installation can take a while depending on how many beers you had before trying to install this. So if you actually pick up the correct pedal, you'll see that it goes on significantly easier than if you try screwing in the wrong side pedal. That's, that's a pro tip for you right there. All right, that seems good. I mean, it, it's a pedal, it's red. It looks pretty cool. We're gonna install the other side and we're gonna go see how it rides. 
Another thing to mention is that the size of the thread of the pedal is going to be different if you have a kid's bike versus if you, if you have a full size bike. And I believe Walmart bikes have a different size thread in them for some reason. So you just want to make sure that your thread size is correct before you buy pedals. So much more comfortable on these pedals. I don't think they could make that much of a difference, but they do. Get up, this bitch. Very poor line. Still got up to that. Ah, I got up that. Now so far, these pedals have held up really well on the trails. I'm really liking them so far, but we're gonna see how they hold up on the jump track. This is some big boy jump. So after riding all day with the, the Fokker mountain bike pedals, they did not fall apart. So, I mean, so far so good. I'll let you know in the future if they do end up falling apart, but they work fantastically as far as the first day goes, which is surprising since it is Chinese made and I was not expecting them to hold up super well on the Black Diamond trails especially on a hardtail but they they did exactly what they were designed to do and they did it really well uh another thing that i noticed was that my feet stayed on the pedals super well uh much much better than these did so i i am honestly really satisfied because that really helped me in my climbs and my downhills uh a whole bunch actually so at the end of the day the million dollar question is, or should I say the the thirty dollar question is, should you upgrade from the default uh, bicycle pedal to something like the Fokker pedal or the Chester uh, or the Chester Race Face pedal? At the end of the day, I highly recommend you get the the Fokker or the the Chester Race Face pedals. They're just significantly better than these uh, pieces of crap. I also noticed in these pedals that 
this does not spin as smoothly as it should, which either means that there's dirt in there or the bearings fucked up or something. So it was time I got some new pedals anyway. And the thing about the Fulker pedals is that they are half, they're almost half the price of uh, the Chester race faces. And they are a Chinese ripoff of the Chester race face. There's, there's no denying that. But that being said, they are selling it at a much cheaper price. So although I would recommend you getting the Chester race face pedals, if you have the money just to support a good company, the Chinese knockoff brand is, is a good way to go if you're, uh, if you don't have the money, seeing as how they're almost half the price, which means that, you know, if they only last half the amount of time that the higher end pedals do, you can still replace them and still basically be saving money. So I do highly recommend you get some platform pedals if you're a novice or beginner mountain biker. They will really help you step up your game and make you feel more confident on your bicycle overall just because you can have the confidence that your feet will stay on the pedals much easier. But if you are just using a uh, like a Walmart mountain bike that you bought from Walmart or you're not going on super difficult trails, it might not be worth the $31 to spend just for that extra confidence. And one last thing before I go, if you want to add extra clout to your local mountain biking trail, you can actually take your old pedals and screw them into a tree near the hardest route on your in your local mountain biking area. I've seen a bunch of people do that. I don't know why, but it, it'll just add some extra clout to your local mountain bike trail. Once again, I highly recommend you get some platform pedals. It doesn't seem like they would affect your riding a whole lot, but somehow they do. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be the end of the video for me. If you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And all the trails that I rode in this video, I'm going to be showcasing in the next video in much more detail. They're the trails at Walnut Creek, and they got a bunch of nice trails out there, but I'll, I'll showcase more of that in the next coming videos. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, make sure to rank up.